Welcome back to Teacher Net Explains channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and leave a comment. A rational function may be defined or described through a table using algebraic symbols or an equation and through a visual representation. By saying that, I mean through a graph. So let's consider this problem. Daily, a certain family prepares lemon water. Initially in the morning, 4 liters of water is prepared and 2 sliced lemons are infused. If after every 4 hours, 3 liters of water and the sliced lemon are added, represent the concentration of lemon as a function, where concentration of lemon is the number of sliced lemons per liter. First, let us represent the problem in terms of an equation. Since we are talking here about relationship between variables concentration of lemon and time, which creates a dependence relationship where the concentration of lemon depends on time that passes by. Then x equals time in hours, or number of hours counted every 4 hours, is the independent variable, while f of x is the concentration of lemon, and that's the dependent variable. That is, f of x equals 2 plus x all over 4 plus 3x, where 2 is the initial number of lemons, x is the number of lemons added in x hours, 4 is the number of liters of water, and 3x is the number of liters of water added in x hours. 2 plus x all over 4 plus 3x is the concentration of lemon, or f of x, and that's a ratio. Notice that it is not only a function, but specifically, it's a rational function because there is a numerator and denominator for each of which is a polynomial function. This equation may be detailed further using table of values. Take note that x is counted every 4 hours. By evaluating the function at the given x values, these are the derived f of x values representing the concentration of lemon corresponding to the time counted every 4 hours. To visualize it, let us plot the points they form in the, on the Cartesian plane. So what are those points we need to plot? After plotting the ordered pairs in the table, the graph is a smooth curve, part of a graph of a rational function. Actually, this is just a part of the whole graph. We'll see the whole graph of a rational function in the next example. Another example is f of x equals 5 plus 2x all over x. Since equation is the given, then let's proceed to representing it as a table of values of x and f of x. Say we'd like to assign integers from negative 3 to positive 3 for x. By evaluating the function at these x's, we have been able to derive their corresponding f of x values. Let's insert more x values to the left and to the right of x equals 0 and to know how f of x will be affected. Now, let's, let's sketch this graph. Look at the graph above. While y cannot be 0, y gets closer and closer, or it approaches and approaches positive infinity as x approaches 0 from the right. Now, look at the graph below. While y cannot be 0, y gets closer and closer, or it approaches and approaches negative infinity as x approaches 0 from the left. So remember, a rational function can be represented using an equation, table of values, or a graph. Until next time!